hey guys so today I'm going to be showing you how I do my foundation um, and then I'm going to be showing you like a uh, everyday makeup look so if you want to see how I got this look right here something supernatural very subtle <laughs> then keep on watching okay so I always do my brows first today I'm going in with my it cosmetics brow powder pencil in the color universal taupe and it has a spoolie on one end the crayon on the other so it's super easy to use and I literally just take the spoolie brush my brow hairs up and start filling in my brows um, sometimes I do the underline I just try to start with underlining my brows or not underlining my brows but like outlining them but I usually get super impatient and then just go ahead and fill them in I've gotten pretty familiar with my natural brow shape so that's been you know easy for me to just color in my eyebrows like it's a coloring book but yeah that's all <laughs> so this product is the only product that I use to fill in my brows of course I use concealer to clean them up but I don't use any type of gel or anything to tame the hairs and that's about it I really like this brow pencil because even though it's like a taupe color, it's like universal, it really is. So you can like do this on a blonde girl or somebody who has darker brows like me. It's just the color depends on the um, amount of pressure that you apply to the pencil. So for me, I have to put more pressure on the pencil to get it darker. But if I'm doing somebody who has blonde hair, I wouldn't have to put so much pressure on the pen. Now I'm going in with oh no way. <laughs> now I'm going with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, and I just grab any brush that I can get my hands on. Any brush that's kind of flat, not really a blending brush, but it is what it is. This is kind of like this is an old school eyeshadow brush, so it's like flat but still kind of fluffy, but it works. So hey, <laughs> I'm just putting that concealer on the on the bottom of my brow, cleaning that bottom part up, and I take the concealer across the whole entire brow um and i'm just blending it down onto my eyelid i look crazy but yeah i'm doing that on the other side now filling process taking that all the way over and all the way over towards my nose and then i'm just blending it down onto my um my eyelid so now i'm taking my blending sponge from tarte and it's damp and I'm just blending that concealer out because uh, I didn't want that much on my eyelid if that makes sense I just needed to blend it out felt like I needed to blend it out so I did <laughs> so yeah so now I'm going over top of my brows cleaning up the top of my brows with one of the foundations that I'm using on my face so this is hazelnut this is black opal foundation stick in the color hazelnut and I'm just taking that with the same brush that I use for my concealer under my brow and I'm going over top of my brow cleaning that up alright so now I'm blending that out with my Tarte Beauty Blender and I'm moving on to my face this is my Urban Decay After Core Illusion Primer and I'm putting that all over my face just like it's a lotion or something but um, I usually I usually put my uh, Benefits Professional Primer on under this and then put this on top but I was being lazy and I didn't feel like getting up out the chair to go get the primer so I was like hey I'm going to take this off like right after so I'm just using one primer but yeah I'm just telling you like that's what I usually do but right now I'm going back um, in with my black opal foundation stick in the color hazelnut and then I'm taking and I'm just putting that on the, the like the center of my face and now I'm taking my black, uh, black opal foundation stick in the color I think it's either cool suede or warm suede it looks like it should be called warm suede but I feel like it's called cool suede I don't know, I'll put it down in the description bar. But yeah, I'm just taking that over the perimeter of my face and kind of in the middle of my face. I feel like when I mix these two foundations, I get my perfect match and I get some type of warmth to my skin because I feel like it's a little dull. So yeah, I feel like this is a good um, 
match for me. But yeah, I'm taking that Tarte Beauty Blender. This is not a beauty blender, but I'm taking that Tarte Blending Sponge and just blending that foundation out all around my skin. So while I was doing my foundation, I felt like fall was going to be a little bit too light for me, but I still wanted to keep the whole entire look cohesive since fall was right under my brow. So I took fall and I put that right under my um, my eye, and I didn't take it down really far. I put it like really, really, really close to my eye. And then I'm going in with Toffee by LA Girls, the same uh, Pro concealer is just a different shade and I'm taking toffee all the way down toffee is a little bit darker than fawn It's like the next shade down So I felt like that was a better match and it just that technique made the whole entire look more cohesive than if I was to just put toffee right under my eyes Now for the rest of my highlight, I just used toffee. I didn't put fawn down at all because I just didn't want the bite of a highlight. So yeah, I'm just putting that down the, um, on, the, on the usual spots that I highlight. I started doing this like little circle thing on my forehead because I was having trouble um, like blending out the, the, the concealer on my forehead. It always used to look really splotchy or really blotchy in photo so I felt like if I put it laid it down in a circle then it would blend out better and it, it actually does so that's a tip for you if you're having problems with that. But yeah I'm just putting down that uh, concealer and I'm going to be blending that out with the same tart blending sponge. So if you haven't visited my blog you definitely should. Head on over to BeatByMail.com and check out my blog. Actually, I have a whole entire website. There's, a, there's an About Me section. Um, there's also a portfolio where I put a lot of my work. Uh, there's um, a blog section where I write like, more so inspirational blogs. And I put some of these YouTube uh, videos up on the blog. So you should definitely, definitely, definitely go check out BeatByMail.com. Also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, definitely follow me at Be By Mare. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching me on YouTube. So like I said, this is my private area. So I spent a lot of time blending out my forehead and I'm just making sure that I'm going in that curve. I'm always blending, following that curve so that it won't end up really blotchy or anything. It's still gonna blend out and diffuse really pretty. So that's how it or pretty. <laughs> Perfectly or flawlessly. That's the word that I'm looking for, flawlessly. But anyway, um, now I'm contouring I just air quoted contouring, but I'm contouring my face. I said contouring because this is the same foundation shade that I use on my face. This is that. It's either called Cool Suede or Warm Suede. Check the description box. It's definitely going to be in there. But um, I'm just going around the perimeter of my face and the hollows in my face to contour. But I didn't really want a harsh contour because I wanted this look to look super, super natural. So I decided just to go for that darker shade in my foundation. But yeah, I'm just going to, I'm just blending out the um, foundation with my tight blender. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I'm 
end up blending I'm going back in and like fix it in the mistake and right there um <clears throat> right there that uh concealer was in too far and then I forgot to blend out the concealer I mean damn I keep on calling it concealer it is foundation I kept I forgot to blend out the foundation that was on my jawline so I was back into that and then it was like a patch on the side of my face that was too light fix that and now I'm setting. I'm using my Sasha Buttercup powder and I'm taking a clean blender. This is my Red Techniques blender and this is damp also and I'm um, just setting my face. Well not my face but the highlighted areas of my face with this setting powder. I'm taking it and I'm putting, trying to put down an even layer of this setting powder because if you don't put an even layer down it's going to look really blotchy like is what you want to have blotches all over your face so you want to make sure that you put it down in a nice and neat uh way and make sure try to make try to be very neat with it i know with the banana banana powder you can just kind of like slap it on your face and it doesn't really matter but this powder is way more pigmented so it does matter so try to be really neat with this when you're doing it Alright, so even though I didn't put concealer on the corners of my mouth, I always like to, well not always like to, <laughs> this is actually something new, but I like to put it in the corners of my mouth just to brighten that part up. But um, now I'm going and I'm setting that clean contour with a bronzer out of my Morphe palette. This shade is a little bit darker than the contour shade that I use. Hindsight being 2020, I wish I would have used something a little bit lighter because I wanted it to match it, match it perfectly. But you know, it is what it is. Still, it still came out nice, so it is what it is. This bronzer has a very little bit of shimmer in it. I would like to use like a completely matte bronzer or a bronzer with very little shimmer in it to like bronze my face because. Uh, apply highlight and then I don't I don't want to look like a disco bar or anything so I, I try to use a little bit you know a bronzer with a little bit of shimmer around the perimeters of my face that was just me brushing off the excess Sasha Buttercup powder and now I'm taking my black opal um, finishing powder in the color deep and I'm going I'm taking that all around my face like all around my face every inch of my face is covered in this finishing powder this finishing powder has um a little bit of shimmer in it too so that's why i don't really like to use that shimmery bronzer around this around the corner of my face because i'm adding shimmer all around my face anyway this is my nice blush in the in the um shade orgasm and i'm taking that on to my red techniques brush I cannot say that. My Red Techniques blush brush and I'm just taking a very little bit and I'm building that color up. Um, I am not a blush girl but I feel like blush is important because it does warm up the face and it just ties in the whole entire look. I feel like without blush you are missing something or at least I am missing something so I always like to have blush but not too much. Now I'm going in and I'm using that same bronzer that I use around the um, perimeter of my face with my MAC 224 brush. I'm just showing you that that brush was too fluffy for me, so I switched to the Sigma brush. I'm not really sure of the name of the Sigma brush. They actually sent that to me in my pro um, kit, so I'm going to put that down in the description bar too. But this one is a lot more dense, a lot more, it, it allows you to do more details. So I ended up um, putting the bronzer on that and then you know sweeping that into my crease and down um, the bridge of my nose. Now I'm just taking my MAC 224 brush and the bronzer out of my Murphy bronzing palette and I'm just taking that all the way over my lid and I'm taking my MAC 224 this is my 222 brush and I'm going in with the bronzer that I use around the corner of my face and I'm just taking that into the crease. So I'm actually taking that nose contour and I'm just, um, yeah. I'm taking that nose contour and I'm just 
continuing that into the crease of my eye. Now I'm taking my NYX black eyeliner and I'm just lining my eyes very, very uh, neat. Nothing too dramatic and I'm creating the smallest ring on the outside of my eye just to complete that line. But um, yeah, nothing, nothing major, just a super, super, super skinny line. Okay, so this is my Lancome um, Hypnose Drama Mascara. Shout out to my grandma for giving it to me. But I'm taking that on my lashes just to prepare them for false lashes. But look how, like, a reason this mascara is, like, my grandma really be on to stuff. Like, she really be on to it because this mascara is great. And she gave me another mascara that's amazing, too. But, yeah, um... I love this mascara. It does. It, it really does a lot for my eyelashes because I barely have any. So yeah, I'm just gonna act like I didn't mess up, and we're just gonna ignore that because I don't feel like taking that off. And I just put some false lashes on. These are some are doll lashes. I think they're wispies, but they're some special type of wispies. So I'll put that down in the description bar. That was just my third face bronzer in the color Witch Girl. I've been using this bronzer ever since I started doing makeup. This is my favorite bronzer. I feel like I can never, ever, ever get rid of it. I put it on every single client that I have, and it's definitely a staple in my collection. I'm just using my Sephora fan brush, and I like to kind of pat the bronzer onto my face. I don't really like to sweep as much. I sweep somewhat, but not too much because it just, um, it can brush away, it, it tends to brush away the foundation that I have because, um, I don't know, I think the bristles are just a little bit too hard. But anyway, I am lining my lips with a brown lipstick actually, and then I'm putting on this uh, Too Faced lipstick in the color Melted Chihuahua. It's not my favorite lip combo, it used to be my favorite lip combo, but not anymore. Um, but yeah, I just put a very best of lip gloss on top for neck. Don't remember what that, um, the name of that is either, and it's really old. But, um, yeah, now I'm finished the look, and I'm just setting with my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Setting it off, and I am done. So, yeah guys, that was the video that was just showing you how I do my foundation in this whole entire no makeup makeup look. If you like the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you are on my YouTube, <laughs> if you are on my blog, then make sure that you keep up with the blog. You know, go check out some blog posts and stuff. <laughs> so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you liked it make sure you actually go ahead and physically like the video and while you're at it subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video bye